Hello, Gary Fleming. Hi, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, it's good to be back. Um, another amazing artwork underway. Yeah, this subject is a pair of uh, grey wolves. Uh, wolves are one of my favourite subjects. And this will give you a fair idea on how I work and how I approach my subjects. You can see here that a lot of this colour is simply what we call blocked in. So there's lots of tonal values here, but not a lot of detail. And I begin my paintings always that way. So you've got, this is obviously early on in the piece. H how do you start something like this? Yeah, well, I've started with a rough outline, I guess a pencil drawing, and then I've rendered up some colouring here or some tonal values that just give me an idea on the bulk and the, and the size of the characters. The next important thing for me in any painting I do is the eyes. They are the central part of any painting or any work that I do. To me, the eyes are the most important part of the subject. Um, without this, I'm simply just painting a grey board. Once I render the eyes in, I have a personality, I have a character, and that's the essence of the painting. Oh, I did notice the eyes looked a, a fair bit more complete than the rest of it. So the eyes, obviously, the starting point. And, and, and where do we go to from there? Yeah, well, I will pretty much complete the eyes on both subjects. I give them both personalities. I know my subjects now and I know the kind of characters I'm working with. And I'll then render and I'll generally work from the eyes and work out and then the painting will, will basically grow from around the eyes of the subjects. And the type of paints we're using? These are the water-based oils again. Um, I've spoken about them previously and I use these throughout the courses that I teach. Um, they're a great medium. There's no chemicals, there's no smell but they have exactly the same properties as a traditional oil paint. So you can work them many days later, they stay wet for many days, you can add all the retardants in there to make them dry faster, uh, make, them, make them a lot wetter for a lot longer. So exact same principles as an oil paint, only no smell and water-based. And so how long would a piece like this take to complete? Uh, look, from start to finish in this one, there's probably about six weeks. It's, it's a reasonably large piece though, I tend to work a lot bigger than this. I like working on a really large scale. It allows me to get lots and lots of detail in. Mate, that's their amazing looking eyes. Thanks very much for your time today. Thank you.